Hello! Uh, I'd like to introduce you in this video to the idea of fractions. So what are fractions? I'm going to start off with a few simple examples. Okay, we'll talk about fractions in this video. Okay, suppose that I had a circle. Let me just draw a nice circle for you. And, and this may not be a perfect looking circle, but imagine it's a circle. If I took the circle and I divided it into two equal parts, let's say I put a line right in the middle here, right across the diameter Okay, the circle, and I divided this line and divided the circle into two equal parts with this line. Okay, and let's let me kind of shade one of those parts in. Let's say I shade this part here in green. I'm going to shade this part in green. Okay, so imagine I've shaded this part in green, I divided the circle into two equal parts, shaded this part in green, okay, this green part that's shaded here will now represent one half of the circle, okay, which we say is one half, okay, and we also write that as one over two, okay. Now let's talk about some other terminology. Let's say I took uh, this same circle and I cut it into half twice. So let's say here's here's my circle. I'm gonna draw another circle, and imagine this circle is the same size as the previous as the above circle. Let's say I took this circle and I divided it into half. So divide it into two pieces, and imagine they're both equal size. So let's say I divided it into two again. So now I've got four pieces, and imagine these are these pieces are all equal size. It's not quite not a circle. Let me kind of fix that a bit. Just make that line a bit nicer. So imagine I would, this one divides the circle into two equal parts, and then this will again divide the circle. So now I've got four pieces. I've divided the circle into four equal parts, uh, and each part here is called a quarter. So let me first shade, shade it in. Let's say I shade uh, this piece here in red. So let me just shade one quarter here of the circle here in red. And this part of the circle is known as one quarter of the circle. So quarter, Q U A R T E R. Okay? And a quarter is the same as one over four. Okay, it's written as one four. Another way you can write a quarter, we often talk about a quarter being also the same as. It's synonymous with the same as saying one fourth of the circle. Okay. So we divide into four equal pieces. Each piece is considered one fourth of the circle. Now here's the first question I want you to think about. If I had one half versus one fourth, the question is which number is greater? Is one half bigger than one fourth, or is one fourth bigger than one half? Well, here's one way you can think about it. Imagine this circle, imagine this circle represented a pizza pie, and you were really hungry. And if I divided the pizza pie into one half, in other words, I divided into two equal pieces and gave you one half of the pizza, would you get more pizza or less pizza compared to if I took that same pizza and divided into four pieces and gave you one fourth? Well, if you think about it and just look at this picture, imagine these two circles are about the same size. Um, clearly, one half of the circle represents a greater quantity, it represents more than one fourth. And so we write that one half is actually going to be greater than one fourth. That's the greater than sign. Okay, and it makes sense intuitively. If you took a pizza and, and divided into two equal pieces, you would end up getting more pizza than if you took that same pizza and divided up into four equal pieces and took one piece. Okay? And in fact if you think about it a bit more, if I took this pizza and I gave you two quarters of the pizza. In other words, I gave you two of these one quarter pieces to get a total of two quarters. Then you would end up with the equivalent of one half of the pizza. Okay? Let's take a look at a couple of other examples. So imagine I have, let's, let me draw a square. Actually, how about a rectangle? Let me draw a rectangle for you. So let's uh, pick a nice color for my rectangle. Let's see, I draw a a 
rectangle like this. Okay. Now imagine I take this rectangle and I draw a line, a straight line, I'm going to draw it as straight as I can, kind of right down the diagonal. Okay. Okay, and I'm going to let me color part of this. So how much how much do you think this represents? Here I've taken this this rectangle, I've drawn a straight line down the diagonal, or something close to a straight line. Let me actually pick a different color. How about a uh, let's pick a different color here. Okay, this kind of red, pinkish color. Okay. The shaded area here is also going to represent one half because I basically have divided up this is two approximately equal halves, or two approximately equal pieces, and, and again, you know, my line's not perfect, it's kind of hard to draw on the computer, but you get the idea. Basically, it's imagine these are kind of two similar size triangles that this single rectangle is broken up into. Okay? In this case, one half of the rectangle is covered, or is colored. So one half of the rectangle. colored. Okay? And what you can think of this as is one half is the same as saying one out of two equal parts. So one half is the same as saying one out of two equal parts. It's the same as same as one out of two equal parts, okay? Which makes sense. All I've really done is I've taken the this rectangle, I've broken it up into two equal parts, and I've colored one of those equal parts, and so I get one out of two, or one half of the rectangle being colored. Okay, now let's, let's take a look at, follow, let's say I took a square now, let me take a look at the square, let's draw a square for you, okay? Here's a square. It's not perfect. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the square and I'm going to draw a couple of lines down the diagonals here, two diagonal lines. And imagine it's sort of perfect square and these diagonal lines are perfectly drawn. What you start to notice is that if I shade one piece of this and let's say I color, I don't know, this piece right here. I color this piece right here. Okay. Well, now one fourth of the square is colored. Okay, one fourth of the square is colored. And that's because I broke the square up into four equal pieces and colored one of those pieces, one of the four. And so you can think of one quarter as being the same as one out of four equal parts. One out of four equal parts is the same as saying one quarter. Okay? Now I'm gonna do a couple of quick examples and then we'll draw the video to a close. So let me let me ask you a couple of questions. Let's see how well you understand this material. So let's say I drew a few different objects here. Okay, so I'm going to draw a circle here. Okay, and uh, uh, let's say I'm shading this part of the circle in. Okay, and now here let me draw a square. Okay, and for this square I'm going to shade in, let's say, this part right here. And here I'm going to draw a, um, how about a, a rectangle? So I'll draw a rectangle right here. And I'm going to shade in uh, this part. And then finally, let me uh, draw a, a triangle here. So I'm going to draw a nice triangle. I haven't drawn a triangle yet, so let me draw a triangle. Okay. And. Shade in this part. Okay, now.
I want to ask you that which of these four shapes, in which of these four shapes do you see the quantity one half or one out of two being represented? And think about that for a second. Which of these four shapes seems to indicate one half or one out of two being represented? And if you think about it, well, this this one clearly this is a uh, uh, when you look at the circle, okay, something is is only a small amount of the circle is actually shaded, and it's clearly not a half. A half would be kind of if I drew this line right here and shaded that, and then you'd, you'd probably get a half. But this is you know clearly is is not half, right? So if you, it's not, if I, it is not a half. Okay. How about this one? I mean, this is actually pretty close. I mean, there's there's a line that I've kind of drawn. The middle here in this rectangle, and this part's the, the part that's shaded. This is actually this kind of represents one half. Okay, so we can see yes, this represents one half. How about here? Uh, now again, you know, this is this shaded area is pretty small, um, and if if I were to have actually shaded in a half of the rectangle, the line that I would probably would draw would be somewhere around here. Okay, so this is clearly not a half. Uh, how about this triangle? This triangle looks like I've, I've shaded in kind of in the middle. This is the middle line right here, and I've, I've kind of shaded in what, what seems to be about half the triangle. So this this also represents one half. So really, we have two quantities here, and with this triangle and this square, for which one half has been shaded in, and we have two instances, namely this uh, this rectangle here and this circle here, in which less than one half uh, has been shaded in. Okay, so the first and the third picture, this picture and this picture, the picture of the circle and the picture of the, the rectangle do not show one half, whereas the picture of the square and the picture of the triangle do show one half. Okay, so I'm going to stop here and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot.